What is up ladies and gents, Ghost here, and today I have a little update video to really fill you guys in about how I'm changing a few things around over on Twitch TV. So if you're somebody who doesn't watch Twitch, you're not interested in watching me over there on that channel, then you may as well click away from this video because that's mostly what this video is going to be about. So with that said, a lot of you guys have been asking me to implement some kind of a schedule you know, a lot of people will ask me on Twitter almost daily, are you going to stream today? When are you going to next stream? Because up until now, I haven't really had a set schedule. And there is a reason for that. It's really because my weekly schedule changes every other week. So due to my job as a chef, one week I'll be working for five days and I'll have two days off. And then the following week I'll have two days off, uh, sorry, five days off and be working only two days. So it makes it difficult to set up a solid weekly schedule where I can say, for example, that I'm going to stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But nevertheless, despite all that, I figured we could maybe all together work around that. So what I did is I created a two-week schedule. And if you go over to my Twitch page, uh, you can go and check out the schedule there. So it'll say week one, and week two, which is a little bit different. Essentially, one week has three streams in it, and the other week has only one set stream, because that's the week I'm working for five days. Now, you'll know which week it currently is, because I'm gonna go in there every single week, and I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna clearly mark which current week we're in, whether it's week one of my rotation or week two, so that you guys will know which days of that week I'll be streaming, and which ones I won't. So the way my job really works is I work 12 hour shifts, 9 in the morning until 9 in the evening. So any days I'm working, I'm really assuming that I'll be working very late into the evening. I'm not going to have time to stream. I'm not going to have time to create any kind of video content or really game whatsoever. So usually I will write those days off as non-streaming days. And that's the reason I haven't used any of those days in my streaming schedule. But that doesn't mean to say that I will never stream on those days. There are times when I'm finished at work early, sometimes I'll get home early, I'll have a few hours, I'm going to go play some games, and I decide to throw up a random stream. So actually following me on Twitch and on Twitter is a very good idea, because whenever I have these uh, little random streams, I'm not going to be putting up a video on the channel anymore, informing people of whatever game I'm playing. I think I'm only going to do that once a week, and I will be doing it when I do the Battlefield stream, because, you know, the majority of people on this channel are interested, of course, in Battlefield content, and so it makes sense to sort of throw up a reminder here on the channel when I'm streaming in Battlefield, but when I stream other things, such as CSGO, or maybe some other RPG game or, you know, for example, GTA 5 that I've been currently playing, I won't be throwing up a reminder. And also for the unscheduled streams, all that reminder stuff will be happening over on Twitter. And likewise, if I'm fallen sick or something and I can't make a scheduled stream, I will be putting that information up on Twitter. So I really, really recommend going and following me there. And uh, if nothing else, it's a lot of fun. I chat to a lot of you guys on there and that's awesome. So go and follow me over there if you want to be constantly updated. Now, as for what games I will actually be playing over on Twitch, of course, Battlefield will be a staple. There will be one day a week at least where I play only Battlefield, so it's going to be like a Battlefield-only stream. Then I have another day where it's sort of mixed Battlefield and CSGO, because I have been getting into CSGO in a big way, actually. Haven't really made too many videos here on the channel, but I've been enjoying the game more and more, and I do actually plan to make uh, some videos, maybe even some super noobish beginner tutorials or something of the like. And then on top of that, I do have a number of other games that I enjoy playing, but I don't usually stream them because you guys always want me to play CSGO or you always want me to play Battlefield 4. So what I've done is actually put a set streaming day where I won't be playing BF4 and I won't be playing CSGO. I will essentially be picking from a pile of games. So it could be something like uh, a competitive game, like I could stream some Hearthstone, I might stream some uh, StarCraft 2 for example, I may also just go on an RPG game or you know something like I mentioned before, Far Cry 4, uh, but GTA 5, you know whatever it happens to be, whatever the coolest game at the time is if you will. So yeah guys, I think that's pretty much all the information so far. I think this is going to be a good thing. Hopefully you guys will be able to easier keep up to date on when I'm next going to be streaming without always having to contact me on Twitter and ask me. 
and uh, I think it's going to keep me streaming more regularly as well, to be honest. On average, it's two days a week at the very least, so that's without any extra streams. Um, that's probably more than I have been doing, so I'm really looking forward to keeping uh, this sort of solid schedule and, and getting back into Twitch in a big way. So, what do you say guys? I reckon this calls for a celebration. This guy here in the comment section on the last video had a pretty good idea, so why the hell not? 